Yo, what's going on, everybody? This is Miss Gold. Today, Miss Weaver got some pretty big nerfs coming this Tuesday. So, I'm going to go over it. I've been doing Mythic Plus rating and PvP this patch so far. So, I'll give you my thoughts on pretty much everything and how this impacts Miss Weaver in general. And with that said, let's jump right into the video. So, first, we're going to start with the PvE changes. These also impact PvP, unless it's noted that it doesn't. And it doesn't know for any of these. So, these all affect PvP as well. Starting off with Manatee, now reduced the mana cost of spells by 25%, was 50%. This is a huge nerf for PvP and raids, in my opinion. Not so much, in my opinion, for Mythic Plus. I think Mythic Plus, you're fine on mana 99% of the time. I don't think there's ever been a time when I'm fist weaving, and I've run out of mana ever. But this, I feel like this does impact raiding and, and PvP a lot. I think in PvP, we're going to want to go Night Elf. I think you should absolutely go Night Elf. I'm going to go Night Elf on my Monk uh, probably after this video. And that way you can Cocoon, Shadow Mode, Drink... Hopefully don't get caught and run out of mana. For raiding, I don't know. It's brutal because you guys are using Essence Font a lot more. This is one of the fights right here. I think this was the... Yeah, this was a heroic of uh, Firek. So that's the last boss in the raid. And I swear I was oom towards the end there. Not most of the time, but like towards the end. And that was the 50% reduced mana. So I don't know. This change is brutal. I this is. I hope that they maybe find a middle road between 25 and 50. I don't know. But this, this change just feels terrible. Upright link now stacks... Up to 15 times was 18. So this is mostly for rating. Actually, all oh, for rating. It's this talent right here. So for every five seconds, Essence Font spends off cooldown. Your next Essence Font may be channeled for one additional second. And the duration of Essence Font's heal over time is increased by four seconds. Maybe not that insane. This is my healing breakdown. Uh, Essence Font's obviously my number two heal. So it's obviously really, really good. Um, at least you still get the increased duration from the essence font but i don't know if reducing it from 18 to 15 is that beneficial but obviously they're gonna try to go after our aoe healing i miss weaver must have been insane in the race world first or something so uh we just have strong aoe healing because we're in you know we're a healing output class and i think <laughs> they don't like that uh invigorating mist healing reduced by 10 percent. so that is this talent right here this is when you have renewing mist on people and you vivify it'll heal people with your doing mist i guess they did not like that either i guess that's too much aoe healing i don't see much going in pve i guess it's number three in pve so obviously they think it's too strong you have a lot of essence fonts out you have a lot of renewing mist you're extending it with rising mist as well and you're just spamming vivify so i guess they just wanted to reduce that healing give us less aoe healing i don't think that impacts mythic plus either because you're fisting most of the time in pvp if you're casting, it sucks, but if you're fisting, it doesn't matter that much. But obviously, for casting Miss Weaver, yes, this this is a 10% nerf to us, sadly. Common Code Lessons now increases the absorb of Life Cocoon by 2%, was 3%. So this is a really, really strong talent for Cast and Miss Weaver right here. So you it stacks up to 50 times. I don't think it's going to be that impactful of a change. It's still 2% instead of 3%, so it's obviously a nerf, 33% nerf. But the, the Life Cocoon absorbed, like, it scales off of health, and we're going to have more health as the seasons go on. So as you get more gear, it's going to get stronger. So I don't think it's this is that bad of a nerf. All right, so I have 50 sacks right now. My life cocoon absorbs 1.9 million damage. So, yeah, I have 723,000 health. So I don't know if it's going to impact that much, but it's still, it is a nerf. I don't think it's going to impact that much. Vivify primary healing increased by 5%. That's pretty good. Maybe to counteract the invigorating mist nerf. I'm not sure, but at least it's something. And then Ancient Concordance now increases the chance for Black Hole Kick to reset Rising Sunken by 12% was 10%. So that's this talent right here. It's just giving you an extra chance for your blackout kicks from your your ancient teach you're teaching the monastery to reset your black your rising sun kick, which is good. That's nice. You'll be able to reset your rising sun kick more. So it is a bit of a buff for fist weaving. And then for PvP, so these are PvP only nerfs or changes and does not affect PvE as well. So first off, they fixed an issue that made Fort Brew damage reduction be higher than normal in PvP. Don't know what ever happened to me. I <laughs> I was dying in my Fort Brew every time I pressed it. So I don't know. I guess they fixed that, which is great. And then they nerfed our two sets. So they nerfed our two set. Our two sets already nerfed by 50% in PvP. So instead of 50% extra healing, it's 25. And they nerfed it to 15%. So this is a this is a this is a big change. So they nerfed our healing essentially in PvP by 10%, which is very unfortunate. Very, very unfortunate. Uh healing elixir. So these nerfs, by the way, are all to our survivability. I think it's because of Fist Weaver. I think uh, Cast and Miss Weaver is kind of getting the brunt of Fist Weaver. Maybe not, but these are all survivability nerfs for some reason. I guess Miss Weaver was surviving too well. So Healing Elixir now heals for 10% of your max health, was 20%. 
you know, Elixir was the same for the past three expansions, and then they made the change, and now they want, they're going to nerf it. And it's also affected by dampening. So this is a really big change. So it's no longer a button you press, and now it's also nerfed by 10% in PvP. So that is a really, really big change uh, to our survivability. We, it's just brutal. Yulon's Grace now creates an absorb for 1% of your max health was 2%. I never used it, so I'm not... This change is fine. It's it's perfectly fine with me. I, you never spec out of Diffuse Magic in PvP. There's too much magic damage going on. So, like, every class has it now. So this change does nothing. Yeah, the damage harm minimum damage reduction is no longer increased in PvP. It was 25%. So damage harm is a weird spell. But what they did, I think, last patch was they made it so baseline by default. You just reduce damage on you by 25% when damage harm is active. They just got rid of it now. So this reduces all damage by 20% to 50% in PvP with large attacks being reduced by more. It's okay. The biggest thing to dampen harm is you could use it while kicked. So if you get kicked and you're being targeted, you could just use Dampen Harm. I think it's still going to be good. I don't think this is like a major nerf. I mean, 25% damage reduction is massive. So it is it is pretty rough. But again, these are mostly because of fist weaving, I feel like. Fortifying Bruce damage reduction is no longer increased in PvP. Was 30%. So, <laughs> I mean, yeah, I guess they just don't want us to survive anymore. <laughs> So, yeah, they nerfed Fort Brew by a lot, even though it's a six-minute cooldown. It doesn't, already doesn't do anything. And now Diffuse Magic reduces magic damage taken by 40% was 60%. So, another nerf. So, every single one of our survivability spells was nerfed. Uh, the biggest one definitely being Healing Exert, just because it has the short cooldown. And it's passive, so you don't really have much control over it. Even though that's where most of our survivability came from last patch. And then they changed it. For some reason, it, Healing Elixir has been the same three expansions and then they nerfed it now i don't know why and then yeah they nerfed our big three defensives because i guess miss weaver a lot of people were complaining that miss weaver was surviving for too much i don't know i've no, no one ever complained about that ever we'll see though maybe the changes don't do too much but i think this mana reduction is going to be pretty rough i'm definitely going to go night elf i'd recommend going night elf as well just because the being able to drink in arena is pretty important and i was already losing on mana to some healers so yeah, I think that's important to go. And then PvE wise, yeah, we got some got some healing nerfs too. So yeah, I, I wasn't expecting anything and I'm still <laughs> disappointed. And that is it for me. If you have any comments, please let me know. I'm more than happy to hear what you guys think. And uh yeah, that's it for me. Hope everyone's a fantastic rest of the day. Forward to the video. See you later.